guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I'm gonna to give you a closer look at my own personal business. Not only am I gonna show you what my business offers and what it looks like in its online web presence, but I'm going to show you, more importantly, the back end of things, so that you, as a business owner or self-employed individual, can understand a lot of the systems, processes, strategies, methods, and confusing things that are in place that help me to run my business from the back end that help me to market it effectively and that help me to keep costs low and keep things efficient and running kind of on autopilot in many different cases. So as you may know, I'm a wedding photographer and a business coach. However, this video is going to be for you if you are self-employed, own a small business or hope to own a small business in the future and you want to take an up close look at the back end processes of running a small business. For the last 10 years, I've been a professional wedding photographer full-time. Prior to that, I was a teacher. Now, when I switched from teaching into full-time photography, I had a big leap. My first full-time year in business, my second year with my photography business, I went from $20,000 as kind of a hobby to full six-figure fully operational business. So I jumped in hard and fast. Things snowballed really quickly. Um, and so I had to figure out how to develop processes that really work for my business. Right now is a great time if you are trying to figure out how to mold your business, how to create more of an online presence, um, how to automate things so that things run a little smoother for you so that you can um, have more time to market yourself or create that next branch of your business that you've been wanting to create. Um, I'm gonna show you the back end of my business so that you can get an idea for some ways that you might be able to improve yours. Now, I'm only gonna go over um, my actual photography brand briefly. Um, it helps to give you guys a better idea of my own business and what I've built it to be. If we click on my About Me page, I tell about me and my love for wedding photography, a little bit about how I work, a little bit about who I am. So if you click on through to my galleries, you can see that I have some various work posted here, a few featured galleries in my engagement wedding and editorial work, and then I have several featured weddings here. Next, I have my blog, which is a different branch of my website. And so here I have, this one is a, a blog of a Cabo San Lucas wedding that I shot last year. Um, and so that is all on there. Now, in addition to photography services, I also offer online digital products for photographers, um, including editing presets, some e-courses, and other materials. Now, um, for that website, I'm gonna show you really briefly right here. Uh, I offer some courses, I offer some presets. I create a series of free opt-ins for people. So basically, in order to build my mailing list, people opt in and they get a free product from me, a digital product intended for a wedding photographer. I send it over and then I've been able to build a large mailing list from that. I have Lightroom presets, which I sell to photographers, which are available for purchase here and you can view the collections here. In addition to selling presets, I also sell some e-courses intended for wedding photographers. So those can be opt into here. Right now my courses are closed. Um, I usually do them at kind of different release dates when people can opt into the course, um, can purchase the course, and those have specific release times and dates. So in addition to my courses and my presets, um, I also offer coaching. So this is my coaching website for photographers and for creative entrepreneurs. This website needs some updates because um, in addition to coaching photographers, I also coach small businesses. So I need a more um, all encompassing site built here a little bit. So here I have a little bit about me and why I make a good coach. Here I have ways that I can help. And then I have my coaching that I offer, testimonial, and then I have some as seen in. I've been published a lot and in a lot of different magazines. So you guys, if you wanna see more, feel free to visit my website. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna see more of my work. So now that I've shown you what my business looks like on the front end, let's talk about the back end. So let's start at the very basics. How is my business set up as a business entity? Well, right now I am set up as a single member LLC. That means that there's just one of me operating the business. I don't have a business partner and my business is set up as a limited liability corporation, an LLC. Now, that means that my business assets and my personal assets are separate. So should there ever be any problem with something coming around and I am under a financial obligation for it, my personal assets are completely separate from my business. I'm also set up with a business general liability insurance and the policy is $1 million 
and I also have insurance on all of my equipment. In addition to that, I also have my own health coverage for myself and my children. So, do I have any employees? Well, previously, yes, currently, no. During wedding season, I will usually have seasonal employees. So, in a typical non-pandemic year, during wedding season, I'll have the following employees and independent contractors. My post-processing and marketing assistant, who does my client slideshows, album ordering, who creates blog posts and pins and does some other marketing tasks for me. Um, I've had a studio manager in the past, um, though I haven't had that for a while. I usually have a bookkeeper. I usually have a photo editor. And then I also have um, associate shooters that shoot for my company in addition to uh, photography assistants and photography second shooters who I pay out to come on wedding days with me. So right now my business is as small as it has been for a long time because of the way that this year is panning out with the pandemic. So currently my business is very simple. However, in the past when I've had more employees working under me, Gusto has been a fantastic tool for hiring employees, paying them out, making sure all of your paperwork and all of your workers comp is set in place. So if you have employees, if you're going to have employees soon, Gusto is a fantastic tool. Next, I'm gonna show you the back end of my business. I'm going to show you the different systems that I use to create my brand online, to market myself effectively, low cost, and to automate many of these things. So next, I'm gonna show you a few of the softwares that I could not live without or run my business without. Um, these are gonna be things that are applicable to not only photography, but to any small business that is trying to get themselves online. So first, I'm gonna show you Kajabi. Now, Kajabi, you'll notice I don't have any sales. I'm not, um, I don't have any sales in the last 30 days. I haven't been promoting my courses or my presets at all during the pandemic. Um, it has not been an area that I wanted to promote right now because a lot of it is geared towards full scale weddings, which aren't happening right now. So that is my next area that I'm trying to pivot with my business is going to be what courses I offer online and I'm gonna be recording some new ones. Um, but this is a fantastic tool. Kajabi is a great website builder. It's a great marketing tool. It's a great opt-in tool. It's a great way to get a mailing list. It's a great way to automate things. You can promote your courses and list your courses on there. There is so much that you can do with Kajabi to build your online business. So if you are looking for something um, that is a fast startup where you can build a website really easily, where you can um, build a mailing list and issue out mailers regularly, where you can create opt-in forms where people get a freebie and they subscribe to your mailing list. If you wanna offer online courses, anything like that. Kajabi is expensive. Um, it has a high monthly fee, but it's because it has so many different features on it. Now, my photography website is not done on Kajabi. I have a WordPress website because I want to have a very specific template, a very specific sort of look to it. However, all of my coaching websites, all of my courses, all of my mailing list opt-ins, all of my free resources for photographers, that whole area is all done on Kajabi. Kajabi is so easy and you can even have multiple different websites on there. Um, so if you have more than one branch of your brand or if you have more than one business, it's a great tool for that. So Kajabi is very easy. If you don't have a website right now and you are trying to figure out how to create one as quickly as possible, Kajabi is really, really easy with that. It also allows you to create just a volume of different resources for your clients, different pages where they can go to see videos of you, to collect and download things, um, and you can host your online courses there. So if you're getting into um, offering online courses, Kajabi is fantastic for that. The other tool that I wanna show you is 17 Hats. 17 Hats is my studio management software. Any small business can use this. This is not just for photographers. 17 Hats allows self-employed individuals and those that own small companies to have a database for their company that basically helps you operate and automate a lot of your systems. So. 17 hats is where I keep my calendar. It syncs with all of my Google calendars and it color codes them so it can sync with all of my different calendars. It also syncs with a workflow calendar so that it can show me and remind me of specific tasks. 
Um, it allows me to create automated workflows. So when I get a new client, um, I can select which type of workflow goes with their job. So if they're booking me for a wedding, I don't have to load in all of my regular contracts, all of my email reminders, all of my questionnaires. It does that for me as long as I mark them as a wedding client workflow. It populates just a wealth of documents automatically for them that send out automatically or when I tell them to and push them through. Um, it allows me to create and collect questionnaires from clients. It allows me to send uh, automated or whenever I want invoices. It allows me to keep track of my contacts. It allows me to take in questionnaire information and it automatically assigns it to an account. I would be so lost without 17 hats. 17 Hats keeps everything organized. It automatically reminds me on my dashboard of each single task that I have to do for every single client on every single day. If anything's outstanding, it reminds me the first thing I log in. Um, I would be so lost if this ever went off the market. It holds everything together for me. So if you are self-employed and you have clients and you have workflows that need to be assigned to clients, a tricky schedule to keep track of, lots of tasks and to-dos, invoices to send, 17 Hats is amazing. The next thing I wanna show you is Blog Stomp. Now having a blog is a huge part of having an online business presence. Even if you think that blogs are outdated, that no one will read it, have a blog Anyway, you must figure out a way to rank yourself higher in Google searches and have a higher ranking in online presence and having a blog is a way to do that. It also makes it more likely for people to find you through visual search sites such as Pinterest and others because once you have a blog, you can upload photos, you can tag those photos, you can insert keywords into your text, you can do link backs and all sorts of different things that allow you to be more easily found online by your target clients. So having a blog is a must. I have a full video that I'm gonna link down below that shows exactly how I use Blogstomp. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial and it also goes over how I tag things and what key things I make sure are present so that I turn up in searches more. So with the pandemic, with weddings being out of the question, my workflow is completely out of whack this year. I haven't needed an assistant this summer, so I don't currently have someone operating my Pinterest. However, on a normal basis, Pinterest is usually really big for me. So to manage Pinterest, I or my assistant, if I am at the point in the year where I have an employee, um, run an app called Tailwind. Tailwind automates my pinning, and what it does is it allows you once a month, once a week, once every three months, depending on how much time you wanna put into it when you work on it, to schedule out your pins. Pin your content on your blog, pin relevant content that drives people back to your site, tag it with relevant local keywords if you're a local business or service-based or product-based keywords if you are an online business, and it will drive a ton of traffic of target clients to your website. So Tailwind is a fantastic way to automate that process. So the next thing I'm not currently using, however, I do keep my account because I know that I will wanna use it in the future. And I do use it on occasion. Anytime that I host an event that I'm selling tickets to, um, such as a workshop or an in-person event, um, I sell them this way. So. Acuity is fantastic if you book appointments. If you book appointments, so basically if you are service-based, if you lead classes, if you sell photo sessions, anything like that, you can also use Acuity. That syncs with the Google Calendar, for me, which it then pops up magically on 17 hats, um, and it all syncs together. They can book their appointment, pay up front. It's a self-service booking system where you list the dates available, the fees, the time slots, etc and people book themselves. Last but not least, bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is surprisingly something that I did myself for a long time and I was terrible at it. So I have since handed this off. My bookkeepers are great. You can book them anywhere in the US. They are online based and they are super easy to work with. So if you have not automated that yet, you don't outsource that yet, I would highly recommend that because that is an area that most of us are probably not doing the best job at. Okay, you guys. I hope that was interesting. I hope it was really helpful to see um, not only the front end of my business and what my personal business looks like, but also 
what the back end looks like. What are some of the tools that I use to get things up and running and automated? So you guys leave me a quick comment, like, and subscribe.